Hey there everybody, it's Mark Crowley. I'm back with another How to Draw video. Today we're going to be learning how to draw a chibi doctor and nurse. This is my way of paying tribute to all of the great medical uh, people out there who are battling valiantly against this virus and uh, you know I'm not going to go into too much of talking about that. Who knows, maybe I will, maybe I won't. It's, let's face it, it's, it's a sad and troubling topic and my primary job is to teach people how to draw things. So let's go ahead and begin with uh, drawing the uh, head of one of the two chibi characters. Although actually, before I get too far, too much farther into that, I should point out the, the size, the dimensions of the square that I've put into place. It is four inches on all sides. That works out to, what is it, like 10 uh, centimeters. And then I just sort of divided it right down the middle. You don't have to draw at exactly the same size, uh, but if you start with a perfect square, uh, that will help you in terms of getting these lines in the right place, figuring out the proportions. So I'm drawing the head of the chibi character that is going to be the uh, doctor, and you can see that it's turned into a sort of a three-quarter point of view. It's going to be turning a little bit away from us, uh, quite um, circular, rounded on the top and sides over here, but just a little bit of a a bend in there to account for the cheek uh, as the face turns, um, not in true profile, but as I said, sort of a three-quarter point of view. And I'm going to add a few more basic shapes there for like a hairstyle and so forth. But and before that, I'm going to draw a couple of lines here uh, for the neck. And notice um, where uh, the, these folded arms, I'm going to put a shape that's kind of for the folded arms of this character. Notice where it crosses over this line, and I'm going to just, to begin with, put a basic uh, kind of boxy shape that's going to help me get um, figure out where to put the uh, upper arms and forearms kind of crossing over each other, and we'll get to the, the details of that in a minute. Now this next part is probably going to look like a uh, skirt, but it is not actually a skirt. It's going to be guidelines for... Um, the long coat. You know, as I looked at both cartoons and photographs of typical doctors, uh, I noticed that one thing is the, the length of the white coat uh, that you see many of them wear it comes quite down far past the waist. And so that's what this uh, guideline here is going to be for. And then finally I'm going to just draw for the legs. This is a sort of a typical chibi pose where the um, the legs sort of point in toward one another, uh, kind of creating a slightly pigeon-toed appearance. I think it's mainly just a, a chibi, a cute chibi thing to do. And uh, so yeah, hopefully that gives you some sense of the proportions. And It's about, I'd say, two and a half to three heads tall if you want to measure uh, that way. And um, as I said, I wanted to go ahead and add uh, a hairstyle. We're going to give this uh, doctor bangs, and that to me means creating a sort of a crescent shape across the top of the head right here, maybe about one-third of the way down, uh, you know, from the top of the head heading towards the chin. I'm going to draw just a simple line that comes back here to where the ear is going to be quite low on the head. And I suppose I might as well go ahead and erase right here for, the, uh, for where that ear is going to be. And um, let's just, for now, do the basic guidelines of the eyes. When I draw a chibi character that is turning uh, in a three-quarter point of view, I don't make the eyes exactly the same. One of them, the one that's kind of closer to us, on the side of the face that is closer to us, is going to be wider from side to side, and then the one that's a little farther away is a bit more compressed. Uh, and I suppose uh, they're, they're sort of both oval shapes, more than perfectly circular. But I'm going to add just a little extra line here for the uh, where the upper eyelash line is going to be. And maybe the last thing I can do is to do an indication of the uh, ponytail that I have decided. Now you could, might decide to make a male uh, doctor. You could use the same pose and just uh, change the hairstyle. Uh, indeed, uh, I'm hoping that uh, people will find this useful as a way of, uh, you know, maybe making a thank you card or something. Uh, to, if, they, if you know someone who's in the medical profession, not just doctors or nurses, but anyone who 
is uh, staffing the hospitals these days is just um, incredible, the stresses that they're under, and that's why I thought this might be a good uh, topic for today's video and the, or subject matter. Not getting too heavy about it, you know, Chibi is about cuteness. <laughs> Trying to keep, uh, you know, an upbeat attitude in, in what is really a, a pretty scary time, let's be honest. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start to refine uh, the, this box into the actual folded arms here. And for me, that means having one of the arms come up and cross over the other, like so. And uh, we'll just get a little line in here to give you the basics of what's going on there. Now this really should, in order to make it seem like it's a folded arms, this one should tuck underneath. Uh, and if you like, you can even put an indication of the fingers there to give us the sense that uh, these arms are really folded one over the other. And as I said, this is not really a skirt. It is actually just like the lapels of this coat. And because she is standing in a three-quarter point of view, the sort of part of the two sides of the coat is also a little closer to this left-hand side than to the right. And maybe I'll stop right there in terms of adding details to this one character and move on to the uh, other character that is sort of standing beside. I thought it would be to do the doctor and nurse to have the two of them sort of uh, not back to back but sort of facing in opposite directions, creating the feeling of a team. Uh, and indeed, these are the these are the real heroes, right? The the people who are marching off to work every day and um, putting themselves in danger. Let's be honest. In order to save those of us who are uh, suffering, and I'm you know I'm assuming that everyone out there has already heard about the importance of what they're calling social distancing. Um, but if you haven't, uh, I will just quickly say, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta stay indoors. You gotta stay away from other people as much as you can, so as to save the hospital system. I think is really what it's about, um, because the hospital system just was not designed for so many people to get sick all at the same time, and none of us want to see a kind of collapse of the hospital system, and that's really what it's all about. Um, I'm going to draw one of these classic old-fashioned nurse um, hats that doesn't cover the entire head. It is very old-fashioned, but I, this one is more like the modern doctor. This one maybe is a bit more of a cartoonish uh, idea of what nurses used to look like, maybe compared to what they look like now. Hang on a second, because I feel like I need to... I'm going to just do this on the fly. I'm going to move the camera, because uh, it's gone just a little bit out of frame there. Yeah, there we go. Um, and I'm sorry I didn't talk so much about the drawing the lines of the head, but hopefully you were, you were able to see what I was doing there and the degree to which it's uh, fairly similar to this head, just facing in the opposite direction. But I thought for this uh, character, instead of having the um, eyes open, I'm going to do this sort of cute eyes squinted shut kind of look of a smiling, happy, uh, chibi nurse. And having finished drawing the shape of the head, I, have, I am sort of creating a shape here for the hairstyle that this character is going to have. Instead of a ponytail, maybe a shorter haircut. Let's give her. And uh, for the pose, I'm going to do um, one hand on the hip here. So let me, I'll begin again with the sort of lines of the neck. Then draw the upper body which in chibi proportions is quite small. They tend to make the upper body fairly small, and then the legs a little sort of chunkier and uh, in proportion to the upper body larger. But uh, first let's go ahead then. This time I will have the character wearing a skirt. As I said, this is kind of old-fashioned nurse's uniform, although I suppose there are still hospitals, places in the world where um, nurses dress this way. 
And as I said, one arm is going to be uh, sort of resting a hand upon the hip, like so, and uh, that one sort of conveniently comes right up to that center line there. And just to go completely cliche here, of course, this <laughs> character has to be holding one of those clipboards, right? Now, I'm a little torn on in terms of having a stethoscope. That's like the classic thing to have a, a doctor wearing. I don't know if there's going to be enough space for drawing the details of a, of a stethoscope. I may give it a try, see if I can fit it in there. But I'm drawing a little clipboard here. And that means that you don't really see much of the arm, but you probably want to have a hand that's uh, holding that clipboard in place. So I'm just going to put a very simple chibi hand here. And for the legs, um, instead of doing this sort of pigeon-toed pose uh, that we had here, I'm going to have a little more of a confident stance with one leg straight down and the other kind of coming out, like so. But you can see, like I said, that there's this feeling that the lower body is a little chunkier and, and more substantial than the upper body, which is greatly reduced in size compared to the uh, head and neck. All right, well, hang on a second. I am going to go ahead and sharpen my pencil so that we can get into some of the details. All right, so I've zoomed in on the faces. Uh, one thing I'm going to do right now is change. This feels like it's just a little bit off. Make this line a little wider here so that it actually kind of touches that central line. There we go. That's looking a little better. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to start to add some details for the like the bangs, get some lines going across here, sort of curved in that direction over here. Uh, and then curving back in the opposite direction on this side. I hope we've got enough space here to add a couple of eyebrows. Looks like we do. I'm going to do just a tiny dot for the nose and just maybe a little gentle smile there. I like to add at least one highlight in each eye. And then, you know, later on we're going to get into the details of this, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get some... Uh, or when I ink it, you know, this will be a little clearer what I'm doing, but this is sort of a joint, um, dark-edged shape at the top of each eye. It'll be a little clearer over here, and it, it kind of encompasses both the pupil, right here in the center, and this sort of blackened upper area. This is a way of drawing uh, chibi eyes that I see quite frequently, where you sort of, the pupil is joined together with this darkened upper area. Maybe there's enough space for just a little line for the fold of the upper eyelid. Uh, I like to get some lines here for the hair, showing the kind of structure of how the hair is pulled back into a ponytail. I had been thinking about having her wear, wearing a face mask, uh, which of course is uh, an important, super important thing of what they're having to do these uh, days, but I, I, I wanted you to be able to see her smiling face so let's pretend this is <laughs> off duty or they they're they are no longer in the danger zone area of the hospital and she can finally take that mask off if by chance anyone watching this video if you yourself uh, are a work at a hospital or do anything that contributes to the um, medical system i just want to express my gratitude to you personally uh, you know, one thing that I think is coming as a result of all of this is uh, people understanding the importance of doctors and nurses and uh, all of this in a way that we maybe failed to fully appreciate as we are distracted by all the shiny things <laughs> of modern life that we think that we need, but then we realize, no, we don't actually need you know, jewelry and stuff like that. Uh, anything like the way that we require uh, health care. And also like food, you know, and part of me wanted to also include people who, you know, in this lesson today, you know, like cashiers at grocery stores. You know, those people are also kind of on the front lines um, in terms of an encountering, potentially encountering this germ uh, or this virus day after day. Um, in a way that must be frightening for them, honestly. So hats off to you as well, any of you 
um, who, who really society requires you to keep turning up to work every day. Uh, and at the same time, you know, maybe if this is my one video where I talk about this stuff, I also want to express um, some sympathy for anyone who uh, has lost their work, lost their job at this time. If you are out there uh, without a job right now, um, yeah, just I just want to express my sympathy for you and uh, here's hoping that um, we can get this virus under control and people can get their jobs back and life can return to normal. Sadly, I don't think that's going to be happening super soon. Uh, but here's hoping governments across the world will step in to ease the economic pain uh, of those who lose their jobs at this time. Uh, sorry, I kind of stopped talking about the drawing part of it. Uh, you know, this, this, this is a, a, a hugely important uh, and slightly distressing time for all of us right now. Uh, and I, I was a little torn as to whether I should just do business as usual uh, and just keep doing the drawing videos, or should I acknowledge what we're all uh, going through right now. So anyway, let's get back to the drawing video now that I've pointed that out. And this is like the collar of, of this traditional um, nurse's uniform. I'm going to take, uh, well, hang on a second. I'm going to have to refocus so that we see the uniform and, and uh, get the details of that. All right, so actually instead of doing the nurse's uniform, I think I'll go ahead and go back to the, do the left-right uh, pattern here. And uh, so as I said, on this, the doctor character, this is really just a big white uh, lab coat. And so I'm going to draw a couple of lines that go uh, across here to the neck, and then you can get that sort of typical collar there. Um, and I think the modern medical uniform is very often a v-neck, uh, and I'm going to, when I color this later, it's going to be uh, sort of a blue color. Although these days they have a wide variety, wider variety than they used to have, but I think I'll do the classic blue in terms of colors. Uh, and then down here I'm going to get pockets on the white coat, this one kind of coming off to one side. I figure the modern doctor is uh, very often not wearing a skirt, it seems a little less sensible than uh, wearing trousers of some kind. And then I'll just have ordinary. You can barely see the, the shoes in chibi drawings. If you have trouble drawing shoes and feet, well, chibi drawing is the style for you, because you basically hardly even draw the feet at all. Thank goodness we don't have to deal with it. I'm going to give the classic um, short sleeves over here for the uh, old-fashioned uh, nursing uniform and have uh, maybe buttons going across, maybe space for three buttons there. I'm going to do a double line here for at the waist. And there's going to be very little in terms of color because I, I always think that the old nursing uniforms were just white pretty much entirely, except for maybe the, the, that red cross up on the uh, hat there that is another sort of classic symbol of uh, the medical profession. Struggling a little with this arm here. You know, I, I feel like almost everybody is going to be directly affected by this one way or another. Um, yesterday, just to make this a little bit personal, I suppose. I um, was reading about the death of this songwriter that I greatly admire, uh, Adam Schlesinger, who was one of the principal songwriters for Fountains of Wayne. And uh, I had heard that he'd been hospitalized, and uh, there was sort of a back and forth as to whether he was recovering, um, was he going to be okay, and then suddenly I saw the headline that he had died, and I actually broke into tears. I surprised myself. I mean, I just, I didn't know him. I had seen them in concert, 
but uh, I was just overcome with emotion. You know, the guy was still quite young. And I guess I just didn't realize how much his music uh, had meant to me, you know, when I heard that news. And it just it sort of shocked me how hard it hit me. And uh, it does make me think that before this is all over, all of us are going to have experiences like that, you know. We're all going to be touched by this one way or another. And we have to support each other, you know. Sadly, not face to face, but uh, remotely uh, over the internet. And thank goodness technology has evolved to the point where we can sort of interact by way of uh, computers until it becomes safe again for us to interact face to face. And there you go, folks. I think we finally got all the lines together, and uh, it is time for me to pull back. I'm going to add color. I'm going to do this all in time lapse, and um, then ink it, and pretty much do everything I need to do to finish this off. And I will be back then with a few final words. Okay, well, that brings us towards the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. Sorry, it was a little less focused <laughs> than normal. Uh, we're all uh, a little distracted, let's face it, um, by the state of the world right now. And uh, But I will try in future videos to have more instruction and a little less um, just gabbing on about whatever floats into my head at any given moment. Of course, this illustration cannot be finished until we add the blushies. You know, this coronavirus may force us all to stay indoors. But it will never stop us from adding the blushies. <laughs> not, have, not if I have anything to say about it. And, uh, yeah, that basically is the final finishing touch, as you all know, that will bring this video to a close. And uh, I guess that's it, really. I'm going to go ahead and lay down this pencil. I want to thank you all for watching this video, and I certainly want to wish you all the best. Hope you're keeping uh, happy and healthy uh, in these trying times. And rest assured, I will be back with another video real soon.